So we're gonna give us about 15, 20 minutes and then get right back to it. Yes, 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 yes. Back at it again. What up with you? Welcome to another episode of One Amit TV. Today, I take a walk in the kitchen again. And um, I want you all to take a walk with me and come cook with us. Yeah, we can see you at it again. So, today, we kind of feel for some stew peas. We actually went to the store to get some turkey neck and cow skin. But unfortunately, we get the smoked turkey neck, but no cow skin. So, we decided to go with some cow food. And of course, whenever you go to the store to get cow food, make sure you ask the, the butcher to give you the front foot, not the back foot. You understand? Know, We're not watch up the back foot business there now. Anyhow, we are going to start by cleaning up this. 90% clean, just need some vinegar water and um, get it straight. So, we are jump at it right now. Just here, so you're in charge of that part, yeah. So in the meantime, we have put on some tea on the next side of the We're using the red kidney bean today. So we're gonna wash this, put it on, let it go and cook. Tea is washed on the fire. So we're gonna turn it on, let that start cook. I'm gonna go with a little salt, not too much. Yes, we're gonna use it on the cold food side. So since this is actually small turkey neck, it's not as hard to cook as the cold food. So we're gonna put it the cold food in the pressure pot for about 10-15 minutes to get it down after you cook as this. So now the cohort is clean, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the pressure pot. We're gonna let that pressure for about 10-15 minutes max. We're gonna give this about 15 minutes. So here we have some crushed garlic. Put that in the pot with the oil with the peas. Well and like crazy. So the reason why I boil the peas separate from the cow food is because the peas is actually dry peas. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to cook and the cow food. I'm not giving it no more than 10 minutes max. So as soon as it, that 10 minute, minutes come, then I'm gonna merge the cold food with the turkey neck over here and the peas and they are finished cooked down together. Yeah, officer 10 minutes. So we all go ahead and lock out the stove. Remove it off the, the silicon side. It at the stove so it can actually cool down. So, as soon as that cool down, we're gonna transfer everything in one pot. So, over here, the peas is still boiling. And the reason, the reason why I put the peas separate from the cow food is because the peas is actually dry peas, it's dry peas, and um, I'm not sure. I didn't want to put them both together and then one cook before the other and one actually end up overcooked. So I give the cow for 10 minutes of pressure and the peas and the natural fire boiling. And as I, as I said before, the turkey neck is actually small so it's, it don't need that long time on the fire. So as soon as this pressure cool, then I'm going to go ahead and merge everything together. So there, I'm actually letting the steam from the pressure pot. So now that the cold food is 10 minutes steam, as I said, so this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna put everything in one pot. You wanna take your time because it's hot. Mm. 
Then I'm gonna go and put the fair connect. Uh, so inside it. And also the feeds. So that's what I like. Uh, I store this in, and now we're gonna let everything boil together. So we're gonna cover it up and let it stay there. So when this boil down for about 25-30 minutes, then we'll go ahead and start seasoning it up. So see you in 20 minutes. Yes, over here we have some dry coconut. Yeah, um, usually we, we grate it. But still to get big now, so she don't use grit no more, you know? But anyhow, I agree with her. Since uh, 2023, I did the right thing. And press the button here. Yeah? Make sure it you know. <laughs> Now that we have the coconut blend. So this is what it's like when everything is put together. And we're gonna go ahead and add our coconut milk. I'm gonna get as much coconut milk as possible from it. Yeah. So we're gonna put back this in the blender and go with a second process. So this is what it looks like with the coconut milk in it. So we're gonna give this about 20 minutes to boil. So um, the excess water boil down a little. And then we start do the right thing by dropping some season and start it out. Yeah. Now with soup peas, you can make soup peas with anything, but it's best with white rice. And over here, we have a small pot of white rice going on. Yeah. In the making rice, chili, or the bag of things. So I make that continue steam. These two peas here, go and get to know each other, you know. Cold food, get used to the turkey neck and the turkey neck, get used to the peas and the peas and everything, get used to the coconut milk. I mean, let's be back in 20 minutes. Yes, yeah, so here we have for season. We have two pieces of scallion, some thyme, a whole pepper, and an onion. So we're going to crush the garlic. And of course, four pieces of garlic, we're gonna crush them. And even cut them up a little bit smaller.
they're not going to go in on the onion. Kellyan, they are thick, so we're just gonna split them. Yeah. Then we wanna dice them the same. And for the green part, we will just rub it so we can get all the nutrients from it. Yeah. That right there. And for the scotch bonnet, we're going to use a piece of the scotch bonnet. These are not the hottest scotch bonnet, I mean they're hot, but these are definitely not hot. So we're going to cut it up. Put these one side. Then we're going to then we're going to apply this. together and then we're gonna add some powder seasoning A little season salt. A little bird seasoning. This thing is not coming out. This thing is not coming out. Yes, a favorite seasoning. That's the only favorite. Yeah. And we're going to punch it as 13. Make sure it's boiling and marinate together. And we're going to keep a close eye to this because it's thick now, so we don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot. So we're going to keep it at a minimum cage on the stove and keep stirring as needed. So we're gonna give this about 15, 20 minutes and then get right back to it. Right here we have some flour. Yeah. If you know, you know. It is called flour and cornmeal. Well, Neil, I'm going to put this one side. I'm going to make some small spinners, as we call it. I'm going to make as much as possible. This can make.
Yeah, so this we're um, dumping already in the pot. So we're gonna spin it. about 10 minutes we're gonna also add a little piece of butter in it back at it with stacy fancy butter again you don't to speak, right? yeah so i'm gonna put this a little piece what's the talking about Susan? you have the stick one put it in oh Good to know. Yeah. So that's a final ingredient going in this. So we're gonna stir that up. Yeah, and that's a process. So here we have it. It's two peas boiling down. This two peas consists of turkey neck, smoked turkey neck of course, cow foot red peas and the whole works so we're gonna go ahead and cover that we're gonna give that five ten minutes max and then stew peas should be ready here we have it white rice over here so complete stew peas over here so a class yeah um, we have a dive here now. I'm sure you're thinking, yeah. I'm not going to know how I want to eat. Lady Stacey, my first lady, this is a Get everything going. Amrita, Genesis, yeah. when you ready for dinner? Yeah. Huh? I'm going to eat dinner. You're going to eat dinner? Yeah, so we put them line up so we are gonna dive in and have a glorious time yes so this is the final result stew peas smoked turkey neck cow foot plain rice fry plantain avocado so we are gonna step dive right in break down the rice steaming on Yes, man. Mm hmm. I eat, man. Mm hmm. I eat. So, you are going on. Thank you all for watching this video right through. And if you are not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below, let, let us know what you think, what we have done different. We appreciate you watching and feel free to share to a friend. And um, I hope you all learn how we do stew peas around here. Until next video, stay safe, stay tuned, we love you. Peace out.